Hello everyone and welcome to Little Hope from the Dark Pictures series. I went and got all the, uh, this, I think there's three of them. I think they're the same developers that did Until Dawn, but I've been looking forward to playing all of these, so I haven't watched any, any stuff on YouTube at all because I didn't want to ruin it, but I've been looking forward to playing all of them. And I finally made the leap and we're going to play alone. So wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Play alone. Little hope. Sure, this closed caption. It almost looks like Alec Baldwin. Settings. Make sure it's closed caption. Just wait for something to jump out in front of us. Do one of them bus squeals. <laughs> Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Two things, folks. Are they youngsters, adults, and Little Hope? What an on ominous type of name for a town. Welcome to Little Hope. Where every day is a bright day for you. <laughs> Oh. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. Wait for something to run out. How long have you been sober? Three days shy of three months. Impressive. Mm -hmm. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, hey. John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Yikes. Now, my Sherlock brain is already thinking, well, are those voices in the guy's head? They didn't show any of the people's faces at all. I could be way off, but that's what I do. I try to pick apart things and figure them out before the answer is revealed. <laughs> Stop. 
Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Wow. Anger issues <laughs> much? He needs counseling. And a job. Not tonight. No way. Right to the sauce. Right to the sauce. That's not the answer, mister. You have a family to uh, support and not be an angry bitch. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will ya? She looks creepy. <clears throat> creepy, creepy, creepy. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. All adopt us. See, you got the, the clash of civil rivalry and with the disturbed home right now. Up in shambles. The pressure's going up. Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Guy. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey. Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> he seems to be a, like a little bit of a douche. Douche. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. Seems like you were a douche in a past life. What's curled up his ass? He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. Uh -huh. A real jerk. So what else is new? They all same all in this town, in this house. <laughs> Yeah, get your shit up in the attic and shut up. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Exactly. That's what Jesus. I Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. Yes, I heard you sweetheart. talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Just soak it and forget it. I'm 
girl's been hurt by it. She heard. This is just like a movie. It's so cool. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. I don't know how these endings are gonna go. If I'm gonna get good endings, bad endings. I'm probably gonna kill everybody. Accidentally, of course, by my choices. <laughs> All right, press and hold RT to pick up objects. Use R to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collection and characters screen. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. What the hell is that? This shit's gonna happen? This shit's gonna happen, guys. stake back in the day. See? That's what they did back then. And the cool thing is, not so cool, but back in Salem, I believe, when there was a thing going around about people being witches, all you had to do was have an argument with the next door neighbor. If like, a little kid didn't like you, they would holler witch and they would end up burning you at the stake or trying to drown you or some shit like that. It was like, insane. I had to do a report on it at school long ago. So that's how you do that. Cool. Matches. I got a pack right here. Matches. Matches. Wrong button. Ooh, it was messed up. Imagine why. That's what I said. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Such a supportive stepdad. Great job, dude. Check on Tanya, Elder Move. Okay, I can do that. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Then go to bed. Now dude. you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah. 
because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. I can't stand him. I, I understand we all have vices and shit that we have to uh, endure and try to get through in life, but you have a family counting on you, and... What's that blowing? I can open it. No, I can't open it. I go upstairs. Right? How do I... What am I... What am I doing? Okay, so I guess people were uh, taking a little tour of the house. <laughs> a little gloomy. Um... Kind of, what are we making? Coffee, tea, something a little bit stronger. All right, pupil name: Megan Clark. Attendance: No days. President. Uh, president. President. <coughs> wow. Days absent. Wow. Megan's got issues. Okay. Anthony, where the hell are you? I couldn't find the stairs. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, <laughs> I'm getting Anthony. really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. What was that shadow? Okay, it was her. You could be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh shit. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? No! Me? Megan! Dad! Poor Mr. Wonderful Dad. sleeping. <laughs> Mom? Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Get Megan out! 
You can jump down, bitch. Pretty damn good start, I'd say. Won't you spare me over to another year? Oh, I plan on doing all of the ones that follow this. I just wanted to do them in order. So I'll get through this as fast as I can and enjoy it as well. And I hope y'all join me on this little journey. I haven't watched anything on YouTube at all. I didn't want to do anything. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No. No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Looks like that dude from Terminator, the uh, one where he molds into, morphs into like metal and shit. What's that guy's name? Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. Obviously. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? 
you are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. Can I save them then? Go back and save them? Hopefully. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. That's what I'm You've seen of. how the story starts. So much death. My whole family. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? I don't there know. There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. I gotta poop. Just put it out there. <laughs> I'm being true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Okay. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. A mass funeral. Hmm. From my decisions. I do enjoy a good funeral. Oh, <laughs> jeez. So morbid. All right. So, I think with that, we'll uh, end this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you join me in this fun journey <laughs> of little hope. See you next time.